We're talking about Project 40 and their new initiative, Flint City Climbing, and joining me is Chris. Hey, Chris, how's it going? Good, how are you? Yeah, well, you're a lead guide, so you're gonna tell us a little bit what it takes to get into rock climbing. So, what's mm -hmm. the process like? Uh, one, finding shoes that fit. <laughs> <laughs> Climbing is notorious for people trying to cram their feet in the small shoes to get that aggressive feel, but yeah. just a shoe that fits, that's pretty much all you would need to get started in bouldering. Uh -huh. Another style of climbing would be mm -hmm. like top roping. You would yeah. need a harness, but okay. that's about it. Are there any other lessons that you need? Can you be a beginner to get right into it? Yeah, typically you can be a beginner. Um, I say if you can climb a ladder or climb the stairs, you can climb something. <laughs> so why did you get into rock climbing? Because I was scared of heights. Oh, because yeah. you were scared of heights? <laughs> yeah. so, all right, well, are you feeling better day by day? Day by day, yeah, it's getting yeah. better. Nice, okay. Well, how do you even work any of this? Like, how does this work when you're going up the wall? So, typically when you see a route set, you'll see different types of tape. Sure. Or color holds. So okay. you'll see here we have like pink polka dot kind of goes on these holds. Ah. The V is kind of where you start. And then these will be like foot chips, more ah. holds, and then you just go up. Okay. Or you have color holds. The biggest thing going into it, Uh huh is using your feet. Uh -huh. I feel like when people start getting into climbing, guys especially, uh -huh. they see all these big holds and they think pull-ups. Uh -huh. So when you cool. see a girl get into it, usually they're more like stepping on things, pushing uh -huh. up, and that's the proper technique. Okay, well, you wanna show us? Yep. Step okay. up here. Well, for me, that looks easier said than done. <laughs> well, what do you think about when you're climbing? Footwork. <laughs> <laughs> Don't look down. <laughs> Don't look down? Like Matt kind of said, it's uh -huh. one of those things that takes all your concentration, so it's kind of uh -huh. that spot where you can just sure. concentrate on one thing solely and not have the problems of your day sure. just still coming in. Yeah. Now, what kind of lessons do you think, Matt kind of mentioned it, but what other lessons do you think you're really getting out of rock climbing? There's a lot of problem solving skills mm. that come out of it, and there's also teamwork. Sure. Um, there can be competitive sides up to it, yeah. but I think generally the climate community is more about like encouraging others, encouraging mm -hmm. each other, and then like that self-success that comes from solving your own problems. Yeah, all right. Well, what would you say to encourage people to rock climb? Get out there and try it. <laughs> it's not as scary as it looks. <laughs> <laughs> all right, then, well, thank you. You wanna show us any more of climbing you got going here? Yeah, I can run up something else. How do you get over the intimidation part of it all? Uh, just doing it. Okay. Once you get on it, I think you're so concentrating on where your feet are going, where your hands are going, you kind of forget that you're you're climbing up. Ah. Do you get nervous about missing a rock? No, not really. It's more about can I hold it? Sometimes they get really small or awkward. Shit. So not so much about missing, but uh -huh. more of if I can hold it or pull myself into the wall. Well, it looks like fun. I'm sure more people will want to get into it, especially people in the Flint community. Yeah. That seems even <laughs> much more fun. Yeah. <laughs> the, the hop down part. <laughs> the bouldering you fall on that. Oh, well, yeah, there you go. Well, at least you know safety is there, right? Yeah. All right, well, thank you so much, Chris. Yeah. I appreciate it. We had so much fun here. So thank you again.